tutorial, we're going to learn about the 3D Warehouse. The 3D Warehouse is a place that anyone can upload their 3D models that are created in SketchUp to share with anyone they want. Many manufacturers of kitchen and bath products have their catalogs stored online here. When specifying products for your design, this can be a great tool to use. Many of these models are embedded with extra information on the product, such as spec sheets, dimension guides, and installation instructions. This service is free for anyone to use, as long as you have a free Google account. In the warehouse, there are many models that you can search for just as easily as you'd search for something on Google. However, there's an even better way. There are collections of models that are already stored on the warehouse. One of these featured collections is for kitchen and bath designers like us. It's a collection of models that is created by users of SketchUp and by manufacturers of kitchen and bath products. It's really easy to get to when you're in SketchUp. Simply look for this icon on the Google bar. Select it and you're brought to the main page of the 3D Warehouse. Here you can search for anything you want in the search bar. What we're going to actually do today is use the Browse the Warehouse link here to take us to the Featured Collections page. As you can see, the Kitchen and Bath Collection is right here. Click on it and you get a nice list of several pages of models. You can browse through here page by page, or you can search within the collection by typing your search into the Filter Results box. For this design I'm working on, I want some KitchenAid appliances. So I'm going to simply type KitchenAid and press Filter Results. As you can see, two groups of KitchenAid appliances come up here. One is KitchenAid Brand, and one is KitchenAid Dynamic Component. I'm going to use the Dynamic Component ones, and you'll see why in just a minute. Note the green badge that denotes models and collections as being dynamic. I'm going to start with the refrigerator, and then I will get a hood, a stove, and a dishwasher. I'll place these in my model. If you'd like to learn how to quickly place these models, please see the Placing Cabinets video. There I explain how to quickly and easily place objects in the model. Now that I have these appliances placed, I want to point out the usefulness of dynamic components. Dynamic components are components that are interactive. Some components can change color, size, and shape, and other attributes by adjusting their settings in their respective dynamic component dialog boxes. These appliances don't have any settings as far as size and color go, but they contain a wealth of information that you would need to use in your kitchen design. Start by finding your dynamic component toolbar. It looks like this. If you don't have it, go to your view menu, then to toolbars to turn it on. To open the dialog box, click on this icon. Next, take the arrow tool and pick one of the appliances. As you can see, all of the information that you need are stored in web links in these appliances. If you click on one, it'll take you to the website where you can download and print all of the information that you need. There's more than just appliances on the 3D warehouse, though. There are also cabinets. All of the cabinets in this design were taken from the Medallion Cabinet Catalog. To show you just how easy it is to do, we're going to add a tray base to this design. I'm going to click on the 3D warehouse again, go back to the featured collections, and then to kitchen and bath. I'll type in Medallion in the Filter Results toolbox, to go right to the list of cabinets.
and there it is. I've easily found and placed my cabinet in this design. You can also find other great things in the warehouse. I like to decorate my design sometimes to really help sell the design. Let's say I wanted to add a coffee pot. I can go to the 3D warehouse, search for coffee pot. If I select this one and drop it right into my design rather than waste the time to draw it myself. So to summarize, the 3D warehouse can be a great way to find models that you need for your design. In future videos, I'll show you how to save frequently used items right into your Google account so you don't have to go searching for regularly used models every time. I will also show you how to use the 3D warehouse as a great collaboration tool for your designs. Thanks for watching. Thank you.